coming off their ninth national championship in the last 11 years. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you. We'll go to Mark in the middle. Kale, okay, congratulations. Thank you. Having now one national champ is quite an accomplishment for most teams. You had five in one night. You had four last year. So you've had nine guys in the finals in the last two years. Every one of them have won. What does that mean to you and to your coaching staff? Well, you know, we're a team, but we're made up of individuals. So, you know, we just, uh, you know, want to see our kids. Same thing I say every time, but we just want to see them be happy and reach their goals, you know, when they come to, uh, to Penn State. And um, our job is to help give them, like I said last, yesterday, just give them the resources and whatever uh, we can do to help them be the best they can be. And when, when it works out for them, that's great, you know. It doesn't most of the time. Right, so uh, when, when it does, it's, it's a special thing. Right, right. Kale, okay, there have been nights like this in the past where you've said that it's hard to enjoy it because a couple of people didn't maybe get reach their goals. All five yeah. reached their goals. Are you going to allow yourself to enjoy this for a certain amount of time before the next thing comes up? Yeah, I mean, I'm, just the way my mind works, I'm always thinking, um, you know, ahead. But I'm, I'm really happy for these guys. I'm really at peace, you know. But, uh, but yeah, I think uh, there's always... Uh, you know, things we can do better, you know, and uh, so it's an ongoing challenge. Stick on the side and then we'll go a little bit left. Yeah, well, um, not maybe just not Max Dean, but anyone who does it, when they jump into Casey's own and jump into your own, can you just describe what's that like for you guys? Um, yeah, just like I said, it's um, seeing them happy and, you know, I mean, they're, they just work hard and, and you know, you love your guys, and you know that every, the other teams love their guys too. And um, so it, it's just, uh, you know, it's just, I don't know. You know, it's it's a it's a, it's a big deal. Um, you know, obviously your heart's kind of with the other people too, because you know we when we lose, losing losing's hard and it stinks, and you, you know you feel um, bad for for the other people, but you're obviously super happy for for your kids, and it's just it, it is just a, a sport, you know. But just like anything in life. But, you know, just, uh, it is important. And, um, sorry, I'm rambling. No, 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 it's okay. <laughs> I'm just trying, I'm just trying, trying to answer questions. questions. There's a lot in the so, queue here. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, directly to the left. Yeah, Kale, you have a lot of different personalities on your team, obviously, and a lot of talented guys. You know, we had Carter earlier, and he's obviously probably one of the most confident wrestlers in all of college. And you got a guy in Max Dean who just gave some phenomenal quotes up here, and he's really humble on the podium. How do you get each of your guys ready in their own right to go out there and be successful on the highest stage? Well, we just work with them uh, the best we can as individuals. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if, I mean, Carter told you, but he broke his hand in the end of January. And um, it was a deal where he needed surgery and needed surgery, but uh, they decided to just rehab it and let it, let it rip. Um, so, you know, there's always adversity um, all, all the way up and down. Um, that's, that's how life works, and obviously it just kind of usually brings your strength out, you know, sharpens the senses. And, and uh, bring some clarity, but yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of a lot of great kids, a lot of different personalities, kids from a lot of different different backgrounds. Um, that's what makes it fun, you know. I mean, we have a lot of a lot of similarities, though. Cal, from twenty years ago, you ended your career undefeated. Would you mind reflecting on that moment and what this tournament means to you? Well, I'm not, you mean just the NCAA tournament in yeah, general? Yeah, just the NCAA tournament, what it means to you. I, I, I love this tournament. I love folk style wrestling. You know, um, it's just, uh, I think it just represents um, the things that I value, at least, you know, hard work. Just um, you get knocked down, you get back up. You got to earn your escape. You know, you know, if you lay on your belly, you're, uh, you're going to be there a long time, right? No, nobody's going to come, come, uh, come rescue you. But I, I love folk style. Um, you know, it's, it's fun because they're just, there's a lot of passion and you know, the universities are following their programs and um, it's a great tournament. You know, the energy here, you know, I tell our guys, you know, this is the, the most uh, fun wrestling event uh, in the world every year. And, uh, and uh, you know, they think it's the Olympics, the World Championships. Obviously, that's more uh, prestigious, obviously, but this is, you know, as a team, competing as a team always just as a different element. I grew up, my dad was a high school wrestling coach, so team was always everything, you know, my family around me was always everything, and, and I think you get to display that in, um, in college athletics, and specifically in, you know, college wrestling, just as, because you, you compete as an individual, but you're competing as a team, and when the kids compete as a team, they always do better individually. Um, that's just the way, you know, 
eternity works. Back right. Hey, uh, here we go. Uh, Kale, uh, Aaron obviously had a big win tonight, uh, coming back from what happened at Big Tens. How much time did you work with him individually, and what were some of the things that you wanted to work on with him? Oh, very little. You know, he knew what he needed to do, and, and uh, he made some he made some adjustments, and and um, he wrestled great. You know, great opponent, obviously. I mean, there's so many great wrestlers in this tournament. It's such a razor-thin fine line between winning and losing, you know, all the way through the bracket. So. Um, a lot of great competitors and great teams and coaches and everything. Rachel. Hey, Coach, congrats, first of all. Thank you. Um, a lot of your guys have said that, you know, they're going to war with their brothers and they keep, that work keeps coming up, my brothers, my brothers. Tell me about the culture that you have um, helped build and sustain at Penn State. Well, I think that's, uh, you know, culture is obviously everything and, and um, you always want a stronger culture. But, uh, yeah, I think these guys care about each other, and they they, um, they compete as individuals, but uh, winning as a team is a lot more fun. You know, I mean, you go win as an individual, but your team doesn't do well uh, as well. It's, it's, it's just a different experience. So, um, yeah, I mean, we, we just have a great group of kids, and um, they're competitors. You know, they step up in these big moments, and they did this weekend. Mark. Yeah, Cal, two things. Uh, is Greg okay? Because he didn't wrestle this morning. For third and fourth, I just want to make sure. Yeah, I'm glad there. you brought that up because I mean, he, um, it was looking like he wasn't going to wrestle at all, and uh, and he knew and he saw that you know he was a head to head uh, with you know the team that we, you know we were competing with for the championship, and so um, he laced him up and, and went out and competed and, and wrestled great. So um, yeah, I mean he was uh, uh, a little banged up and he uh, just got tough and went out and competed. And one other thing, uh, you got a few seniors that are going to be done after this year. What do, what do you say to them? Because they've meant a lot to the program, I'm sure. Good job. <laughs> right? I mean, we'll, we'll, uh, relationships continue on, right? Yeah. You, know, you, get, you just get the time that you're allotted and you use it. Um, sometimes you take advantage of it, sometimes you don't. It's all just experience. But, um, you know, when the, your time's up, you move on to the next challenge. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate Thanks, your time. Congratulations. Congratulations again. Recording.